Hey guys, hope you're doing good. So we got an acoustic lesson today. Loving this song. It's maybe a little bit older, but just loving the song. I'm just kind of finally starting to listen to it a ton. It's the song Great Things by Phil Wickham, and it's just kind of got this sweet little... Just this little chunk of chunk chunk thing going on that I'm just starting to really love. So... That's what we got going on today, acoustic lesson. So he does it, um, we're using the G shapes uh, in the key of G, but we're either gonna do a capo on the fourth fret, which puts it in the key of B, or we can slide it to the third fret, which puts it in the key of B flat. So I think there are a couple of different, um, a couple of different uh, versions out there where he does it on different keys. So just. Um, just if you're playing to the recording and it sounds off, that means you probably just need to change the capo to the third fret or the fourth fret from whatever you're doing. So, um, so here's what is going on in this lesson. Gonna show you the chords, gonna show you that cool little uh, chunk of chunk thing, the little strum pattern on the, on the verse, and then uh, show you the strum pattern on the chorus, and then we'll get into the um the uh the bridge which is pretty simple too so like no finger picking nothing like that for this song so just the chords for the um for the for the intro and and the verse it's just going to go back between the uh, g and the c for the intro It depends on the version. It might even he might even just hang on the G chord on the for the intro. Um, so let's we're gonna get into start off on the verse. So that's just gonna be the G. Come let us worship our King. Come let us bow at His feet. He has done great things. Switch to the C there. See what our Savior has done. See how his love overcomes. He has done great things. He has done great things. So that's the E minor and the D on the tail end of that um, first verse. So that's kind of where the chords go, where the lyrics change and all that stuff. So the, the strum pattern is just, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to explain, but let me just see how... How I'm doing it again. Come let us worship our King. Come let us bow at His feet. He has done great things. Do do our Savior has done. Do 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 do. He has done great. So let me let me just try to break this little you know strum pattern down. I think if you wanted to just do the very basics and still kind of get that cool. So let me just backtrack a smidge. So really, what's going on? What I love when when he plays, he he really emphasizes a lot of the bass notes and like these these thicker strings up top so so if you notice when he does uh, like acoustic um, versions of song he he really um, it seems like he does that a lot and like it's just I love it I think it's super cool and it gives a lot of like uh, just a different feel to the song as opposed to playing come let us worship our king um, so anyways I digress um, so that's we're basically hanging on to the bass notes for most of this first verse. So you could do come let us worship our king. Come let us bow at So as you can see, the, 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 the basic pattern is down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, see? Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And, 
and I'm using, you know, I talked about this in a lesson before. I use a thin pick a lot of times just because it's easy to, um, just it's easier to, to strum uh, for some acoustic songs that, you know, you have to be a little bit like, um, you have a little bit more rhythm and you have, you know, I just, I just don't like for the pick to maybe get jammed in here and lose it in the, in the guitar hole. So anyways, just a side note, I like to use the thin picks for, at least for this song. Um, so anyways, you can, that's, that's the base, a uh, basic, um, strum pattern, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And you can see when I'm doing that, like there's really not much movement going on with my arm. It's a lot of just... And I'm catching, you know, I'm catching the, the uh, B string and up on my upstroke. Maybe the maybe I'm sometimes I'm catching that high E string too. So you just any strings you pick, um, and I'm not just picking one string in particular. I'm, I'm I'm catching a couple there on my upstroke. So it doesn't matter any strings you pick, they're gonna work out fine. So just do that pattern. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And then if you wanted to just add a couple extra down, down, ups, you can just, once you get that rhythm. And the last thing before we get to the chorus, when you're doing a song like this, and maybe you're just doing it for, you know, a family Bible study or worship or whatever it may be, you know, it, you can throw in some additional chord voicings that just kind of make it sound cool and make it sound a little bit more fresh. So like I have um, this, I'll call, I call it the G-shaped C chord where you slide up this regular G to the, I think the eighth fret here. And, and I'm usually just kind of using the middle and the ring finger. So you, that would sound really nice on, on this uh, kind of acoustic song. So, come let us worship our King. Come let us bow at His feet. He has done great things. We'll see what our Savior has done. See how His love overcomes. He has done great things. And that's just a C-shaped D chord. I'll, I'll put a link for these up top. I kind of have some weird names for these, but you know, this, this C-shaped D chord right here, such an awesome chord. You're just in your regular C major and you slide it up two frets. One, two. Did I do that right? One, two. So you can really add some nice cool sounds to, to this song. So anyways, that was a long time for verse one. Uh, fortunately, verse two is the same, so we only have to go through that once. Let's get to the chorus. So the chorus is going to be G. Oh, hero of heaven, you conquer the grave. You free every E minor captive and break every chain. Oh, God, see you have done great things. We dance in your freedom, awake and alive. Oh, Jesus, our Savior. Your name lifted high, oh God, you have done great things. Um, so that, those are the chords for the chorus. And, and you can just, again, do this really basic strum pattern. It's just the... Be captive and break every chain, oh God. We dance in your freedom, awake and alive. Your name lifted high, oh God, you have done great things. And then 
and that goes into the just the, you know the interlude and then the uh, the verse two, same as verse one, um, chorus two, same as chorus one. Then we're getting into the interlude, which is just going to be um, this is going to be before the bridge. So it's just going to be G. You're just playing the G chord. You know, that same down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Um, and then, so the bridge, the chords for the bridge, we have that C at nine. Then we go to the D. So, hallelujah, God, above it all. E minor. Hallelujah, God, unshakable. So, this is the new chord, the B minor chord, where we... Uh, we we stay in this E minor, so uh, E minor seven. To do that B minor, the easier one, and not the bar chord one, you would just you know get into your E minor seven, drop this middle finger down one string, and then just play every play the bottom five strings. And it's nice because that B minor comes right after the E minor seven, so it's a really easy switch. So the beginning of that bridge is Hallelujah, God, above it all. Hallelujah, God, unshakable. Hallelujah, D, you've done great things. E minor, you've done great things. You can do a G or a G over B there. It doesn't really matter. Either one works. So that's, um, that just kind of shows you the bridge. So um, I will just kind of play through it. Hallelujah, God, above it all. Hallelujah, God, unshakable. Hallelujah, you have done great things. Oh, hallelujah, God, above it all. So when you when you finish it, when you lead back into the course, you just instead of doing that G, you go to the D. So hallelujah, you have done great things. You've done great things. Oh hero of heaven. So let me just circle back real quickly on that bridge and just show you what I was doing strum pattern wise. It's soft, so you could just I, I like to do down strums. Uh, I do an eight kind of down strums on each chord. So, hallelujah, God, above it all. Hallelujah, God, unshakable. And you, as you can see, I'm adding a little bit of a down up as I transition chords. So, And again, this is where these different voicings can come into play. That C-shaped D chord um, that I talked about in the first verse. And then you can even do this, this slide up E minor chord, which is also in the same video with the C-shaped D chord. I know we got a lot going on here, but that's a this will be a this could be a fun way to really just kind of give the song a little bit of a different sound and feel. So Hallelujah, God, above it all. Hallelujah. Do, 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 do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So just be fun, be creative, you know, get, get, uh, try some new things, uh, with, with some of those chords. I think it'll be a really fun song for you to play. I've had a, 
a lot of fun and just joy playing to it and just playing along with the recording. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps you guys out. You know, if you're confused or you have a question, just leave a comment below. Um, you know, I love chatting it up with you guys in the comments, getting to know you a little bit and answering, you know, some of your questions about what I'm doing, what, you know, strum pattern and all that other stuff. So make sure you leave a comment, um, head over to my, the community tab on my page. I've got some Bible verses of the week, some scripture, some devotion, some giveaways, some raffles, some live stream stuff coming up. So just head over there, uh, drop a comment, say what's up, say hello. And um, yeah, that's a wrap for this lesson. I hope it helps you guys and I'll catch you all in the next one.